Got it here another Microtech Lineman Rescue Safety Orange Full Serrated number 12. Wow. This one's, well, not a lot of them were made. Check this out. It's orange and there is, uh, looks like a couple of different types. This one is very unique. I've never seen anything like that. So it's automatic. You press it. Quite a nice uh, kick to it. This feels really good. And what's so different about it? serration and then right here is not sharp at all and this is not sharp and either but this right here is uh, like a seat belt cutter so that way you can go in and cut the seat belt any kind of rope whatever this is quite unique look at that colors i really enjoy this knife quite a bit beautiful little knife so this one was made 08 2022 so get in vintage i don't think they're gonna make a lot of them in the future just like that so it's carbide and yeah there's a little hole so that way whenever it sits in your belt or pocket you can just pull it up pretty easily and then whenever you want to open it boom that is very unique knife i really like that one a lot by my contact look at the detail all that little um, like holder so it's non-slip same thing here feels really good to hold it um, what about balance look at that perfect balance that's how you're gonna hold it as you can see and it's balanced where it's supposed to be this is quite nice microtech knives definitely make some rare stuff limited edition stuff so let me know in the comments below what do you think about this one next revolt knives rotor that's the name for it, maybe. So they make some unique knives sometimes. They always been featured in a bottle box, subscription box. Check this out, this is quite unique. It feels like a slip joint, but have nothing in between here holding it. All it is is just one handle and to just kind of open it, you have to lift this, kind of stick your finger in there because yeah, it's not very strong lock. I guess whenever you'll be holding it, you kind of keep the lock in place. But yeah, it's definitely not the strongest lock. It's more like a slip joint lock. And also, I don't think it'll flip that good. Let's see if I can flick it. Yeah, you have to really kick it. Now ah, you can do it. There you go. But yeah, very unique, one of a kind folding knife never seen anything like that next I got it here buck knife hexam this one is just strange uh, there is a safety to open it you see you pull here here nothing works the only way to open it you gotta press this button down then you can flick it so it's kind of like a bottom lock but I don't understand why they set up a flipper over here all you have to do is just Kind of press the button and open it. You don't have to have none of this top, phone flip or none of that. You can just use it as a bottom lock. It's really nice the way it's like locks in and super soft. You see? But I guess you could just press the button and click it as well. Let's see if I can flip it faster. Oh, didn't let go the bottom fast enough. So I guess it's like whenever you're pointing it down and then it will stay down. Yeah, that's definitely a weird mechanism right here. Whenever you have a bottom lock and flicker, a lot of people will get confused. Even me, I tried to flip it and I was like, wait a minute, I gotta release the safety, then you can flip it. Might as well just don't even use it, just go this way. Next, this one more of a camping cooking one, you see? Uh, load field, this is really nice knife right here also featured in bottle box that's how I found it check this out looks like a little stick and what I didn't show you before about this knife that I'm gonna show you now so looks like there's two little uh, nubbies holding it together and how do we open it oh you know what you just twist this and uh, open it boom and then you have a fork and a knife as you can see you have a really decent knife and i showed you this before you can uh, open this you see there's another locking mechanism 
takes me a minute to figure it out. I haven't uh, pulled this knife in a while. And there should be locking mechanisms to lock it up, no? Yeah, you lock it this way so it doesn't fold on you. And then you have a really long camping knife, cooking knife with a little fork. It's perfect for grilling, whatever. But what another thing I did not notice before and I never showed it before is that you can put this knife to here and lock it and boom you have here really long one knife that's a long enough handle for two hands quite unique for sure uh yeah what do you guys think and then whenever you want to take it apart and fold it together flip this fold it and then you can put safety on by flipping this so it doesn't open on you so you can use it and then whenever you're ready to put it away just um, slide this in looks like this way let's see if it matters i guess it does it works this way lock it you see and now it stays together pretty unique little knife it doesn't even look like a knife it was just sitting on a table most people would assume it just looked like some kind of cool stick that's it but yeah i like that design a lot and then right here another one this one is mila i'll feature this again because this is just so cool um this is part of my collection of weird knives comes with a really nice holster and as you can see you have right here a regular knife it's kind of uncomfortable and weird you see handles sitting way lower but i guess you could still cook and use it then let's see how this works you just pull on this knife and you have a really long cooking knife what it looks like um and then let's see you just lift this up and then it will fold that's definitely another very unique mechanism over here lever to open it actually to close it you gotta lift this lever up like this and then lift it and then it will close and on top of it you have still always fixed blade, blade knife, folded knife, very unique. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about these knives. This one is definitely my favorite. And you see there is a number 12 serial number.